goes ladies and gentlemen asd <laughs> asd the original skylar driving the building yeah baby let's go hey baby so dude i i appreciate you joining joey i see Corey right there what's up Corey? how are you sir yeah he can't hear he's driving oh, okay, okay. Safe. you got the pods in that's all good it's okay. just me Sorry. No worries. So, yeah. dude, uh, it's been a long time. I, I know it's been kind of a, um, you know, it's been it's been an interesting time lately. Uh, I I definitely want to talk about the show going on tomorrow. I want to talk about some some good sure. times you had with with Jordan. Some some stuff that makes you laugh and smile. Um, but I know you're here in particular to promote a couple of things. So, if you'd like right now, take that time to promote why you're here. Oh uh, yeah, absolutely. So like we were saying, tomorrow's our memorial show for Jordan. And um, sorry, Corey drives crazy. I keep checking the road to make sure I'm not about to. <laughs> it's not the side. Uh, no, it's a memorial show for Jordan. It's at the Boardwalk in Orangeville. It is sold out, so there's no tickets available. But all of the uh, all the door, basically 100% of it's going to the uh, Kyle Pavone Foundation. And that meant a lot to us because when Jordan was still with us and uh, went to rehab during our run last year, it was actually like funded and sponsored by the Kyle Pavone Foundation. And so we got really close with them over that experience, you know. So they uh, they helped as much as they could. It was amazing what they did, too. So we're just trying to give back right now. So it's basically just all going to them for the show. Wow. I did not know that. that that's that's awesome. Shout out to the Kyle Pavone uh, Foundation. Uh if you're unfamiliar, guys, uh, obviously we came as Romans, which I'm, I'm sure you guys have had many different interactions with them over the years. Uh, they were our good friends, man. Yeah, still are. We don't see them much. We don't tour often, but we did run into them uh, on our last run at a couple of festivals. So we did get to catch up, you know. And uh, it's actually where I got in contact with um, Connor Pavone, Kyle's brother. They had a tent at one of the festivals, and that's what kind of stemmed the whole thing together. How did you guys approach Johnny about doing this? And uh, obviously there's some history there as far as him almost joining at a point, but how, how did you go about reaching out to him and explaining this is kind of a, we want you involved? Well, um, we're all friends with Johnny and I keep in contact with Johnny regularly. And so once everything happened with Jordan and him passing away, uh, me and Johnny were obviously talking a lot about it, you know? And once we decided to do a memorial offer, it made sense for him to do it with us since we just been friends with him since we were like 18 years old, you know, from the area. And uh, him and Jordan were super close as well over the years. And uh, he was just immediately down to do it, you know. And so we were honored. We just kind of hit him up and we're like, hey, would you want to do this? We obviously need a singer for the show. And he's like, yeah, for Jordan's memory and just to like, I don't know, give it a good send off. He's the only one who would make sense to do the show, honestly. So... It worked out. I, I have a ton of questions for you, but I know uh, my buddy Sean, who says he interacted with you a bunch back in the day in 2014 at the wow. Warp Tour. Sean of I the Breather, now in Soul Killer. Sean, what, what questions might you have for Joey? Uh, first of all, I just want to know, like, how are you guys doing? That, that's the main thing. Um, uh, we're doing all, we're doing okay, man. You know, yeah. as good as we can be. So it's been good to have, you know like your friends and brothers around for sure. And uh, it's never easy dealing with the loss, especially with someone, you know, who you've been trying to help, who's struggling, who, you know, is going through a lot himself. And so I guess we're just doing as best as we can, you know, just trying to keep trucking and do good things in his memory. That's great, man. I don't think I have as many questions as, as, as much as, as just I admire – uh, the strength that you guys have right now and pushing through this. Um, I didn't really know Jordan that well. Um, like when I toured with you guys on Warp Tour, uh, he obviously wasn't there. Um, but <clears throat> when I saw he was going through a rough time, I reached out to BG and I reached out to him and connected mm -hmm. with him for that. And, and it hit me pretty bad too. So uh, it's definitely a tough situation. So I commend you guys for 
uh, pushing through this and, and really, you know, pushing stuff in his name, you know, um, we just got to yeah. get that word out there of mental illness and, and, uh, you know, that's really what it comes down to. Um, so just keep doing what the fuck you guys are doing, man. Uh, seriously, yeah. you're going to, you're going to make a difference to a lot of people. Thanks. That's the whole point too, is just to help out, you know, like how the Pavone foundation helped out Jordan. Just feel if we could help out some more people the same way, you know, could be a good yeah. difference for sure. Yeah. Yes. Is there a way that you can, I don't know if we can do this live, but is there a way you can tell me where the link is so I can grab it and throw it in chat or just something to, to, to plug? I know the show is sold out, but is there a way that I can like support the, the Pavone foundation in the chat right now? Yeah, I believe it's just the KylePavoneFoundation.com. Okay, perfect. Link. Perfect. And I know if you're on, if you Google it and then go to it, there's like a donation section on the site that you can do. Very cool. Tell me, <coughs> Joey, yeah. when you look back and and you're and you're thinking of the best times with Jordan, none of the sad stuff, but the happy times. Is there is there a particular story that you're willing to share that just makes you laugh when you think of hanging out with him? Uh, I, yes, I clearly I there's one. Now. You laugh right away. Uh, Jordan was a Jordan was a super funny person, and just going back, like I was, I was like 14 years old living in Galt, and there's this like chick that lived next door to me that I was trying to hook up with, you know, <laughs> and she was friends with Jordan from high school, and that's actually how I met Jordan, was through this girl, you know, and the the very first time I went over to Jordan's house to hang out, he had just like, this chick was leaving his house. Like his parents were gone, you know, when I rolled up and I was like, God, this guy's so sick. You know, <laughs> chicks are leaving his house. This is awesome. You know, so I'm trying to do, you're young, try and make it in a band, you know? And, um, I'd say that was probably Jordan attempted to, uh, to send me a video of him and this girl hanging out and he ended up recording just a spongebob uh like stuffed animal instead he had the camera the wrong way so that was my first impression with jordan doing like really funny mess ups in life you know and i think that's just uh just a testament to him just always being funny you know and i don't know man i have so many good tours of like touring with him going to north carolina uh thanks to his myspace addiction that he had of friending other people's bands all night long to get our band out there is why we got signed to tragic hero you know he was the one who was in contact with me so just growing up man tons of respect for jordan one of my best friends in life for a long time childhood friend and like i don't know just super funny awesome dude man i can't tell too many stories but no worries we're starting to slowly lose joey I don't know if we lost. I think we might have lost him. Oh, there we go. There you're, we go. You're, you're back. Oh, you there? Yeah, you're back. I know you're driving. Sorry, we're kind you're of hustling. Out. We got we're we got some. The cuts right now. So he's out in the boondocks, getting to driving to practice as fast as possible. Yo, I, I know that. Yeah. I know that there's some there's some recordings with Nick. Do you think that those recordings will ever see the light of day? Like recent ones. I don't know what I'm allowed to say and not allowed to say, which I think you know what I'm asking. <laughs> oh, if there's like unreleased stuff with Jordan, dude, we we were trying to write music with Jordan throughout the process, you know, and there's definitely something on tape out there, but I don't know if it'll ever see the light of day. That's something for us to discuss one day to see if we'd want to do something with it, you know? For sure. I think people would would be would welcome it with open arms for sure. I'll just put it out there. Yeah. I know that he did a song with Richie, who was in Watch Out, There's Ghosts with him, when they kind of were doing like a second record, I think. And I know um, Richie has a song that he did with Jordan fairly recently that he's been working on, too, that should be coming out soon. I've actually heard it. I'm not allowed to speak on it, though, but I have heard it. Richie, Richie and me are homies. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, oh, okay. I know that I know that chat and or the comments went crazy as far as the memorial show tomorrow. Tickets were hot, and and people want to see how the the show is. I know there was talks of a stream. Where can we watch this stream? Or is this for a future something to be put out? What what are the details? Um, 
there was talks of a stream. We did have a company working with us on it. Um, well, we're in talks with it. And the uh, only person that we had who was really going to do it that we were into, uh, he unfortunately had like a family emergency and flew back to Texas two days ago. So it was in talks. We never like fully announced anything, but I don't, I think the best thing you're going to have to do unless someone else is live streaming it from the show is just try to catch it on YouTube, man, or tune in. I'm sure there'll be some people putting on on Instagram or Facebook Live when we play, but <clears throat> if I find out anything else, I'll let you know, though, and we'll for sure be posting about it. I have a couple more, and then I'm going to send it to Sean. Do you feel like tomorrow is the last time you'll ever play She Watched the Sky? Um, Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, I don't really see, like, you know, we're doing a memorial show for Jordan. There's no singer anymore. Johnny's busy. He's doing one show. So I don't want to, like, put a – I don't want to write it in stone or anything like that, you know. But of course. as far as as far as the near future, I would say that this is most likely – most likely the, la the last uh, going out with a bang, you know. But who knows? I don't know. Sean, shoot him a couple more. Um, not necessarily a question, but I, I just want to thank you guys again. Uh, a Skylight Drive is actually one of the first bands that I got into that like um, split the gap between singing and screaming and mixing them together for me. Yeah. <clears throat> and and I was a huge uh, huge reason as to why I even started you know doing heavier music. Um, so you know uh, deep down, I just want to thank you guys um, for having that for me at least. And uh, I know a lot of people have the same feelings as well. Um, just, yeah, I, I know this is all tough. I just want you guys to stay strong and, and, and you're doing the right fucking thing. Um, and I, I guarantee you, you, I fucking guarantee you that Jordan's up there proud, happy. And I guarantee you that he, he feels like he fucking, he got what he wanted. You know, he, he released a, an album with you guys that, that touched a lot of hearts and were, what you know it was 2007 and we're in <clears throat> we're 2023 right now and, and like that's still that's still like the fucking like you know that's the og yeah. og lineup and all that stuff and it, and it and it still hits people in the heart um so yeah it's still got some juice man <clears throat> that's wild years later it still hangs a little bit you know and i think that <clears throat> i think that's just like a testament to the times and what we were doing and like the amount of fun and love we had for music when we were writing it really shows through you know hands yes. on for a long time that way and uh yeah well thanks dude that means a lot that we were like one of the bands for you to get into it for me it was like like a static lullaby dude was mine <laughs> yeah you know? that was me too yeah sure. yeah corn's agreeing he's like yeah static lullaby yeah how is yeah, it how is rocks. it being uh being being sober now? I know that's uh you've been working on your sobriety for a while now. How how are how are you feeling? I'm doing good, dude. I basically just my problem was with alcohol and I just don't drink alcohol anymore. So Good for you. Uh it's been like uh I don't know, going on about nine months now, no booze. And for me booze was kinda like the gateway to everything else, you know. So I'm doing no booze. I don't really smoke weed either, so I'm pretty sober as far as all that goes. Good for you, man. That's awesome. Congratulations. Yeah, they, Will you do me a you. favor and ask Corey the same question I asked you earlier? Just a happy moment, happy time that he thinks of regarding regarding Jordan, but something personal to him. Yeah, here, put this in real quick. But 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 here. Joey, make sure watch the road, Joey. Watch the road a little bit. I got the road. Don't worry. <laughs> okay. I do. I do want to. I do want to say what's up to, to Corey too. This is Sean from Isaac Breeder. Just want to say what's up, dude. Uh, what's up, man? How you doing? I can't really Good, look man. at the phone, but I can hear you, and I'll uh, I'll look every once in a while. No, just I'm nod driver. and acknowledge. Since I was fifteen, I'm thirty-four now. Knock on wood. I don't know where he is, but never had a ticket. Never been in an accident. Trying to keep it that way. Corey, we just want to know if you can speak on and good for you on the no tickets. That's awesome. We want to. We just yeah. want to know if uh, there's a particular moment when you when you think about your times, your interactions with Jordan, that just makes you laugh every time you think of this particular memory. Just positive vibes. Man, I can't think of a particular like situation at the moment. There's there's been tons. He's always just if you're down, you know. I I suffered from depression and anxiety my whole life. It's, it's just part of me. Um, 
And there would be days I, we, I, I, uh, Jordan was actually staying at my house last year while we were doing the, the couple, you know, the run for the shows and stuff. He stayed at, at me and my girlfriend's house for about three months. And, uh, you know, I get off work and some days I'm not in a good mood. I'm just not feeling it. I'm like, depression's hitting, just work's hitting, life's hitting, you know, and he would just always be there. I don't know. I can't, like I said, I can't really put it to words, but he, he would always just make me laugh. You know, he would call me dad, which was, it, it was an inside thing between me and him. I don't know. I would call him dad. He was my dad. I was his dad. And when I would, I don't know, he would say, dad, I don't know. He would just always put a smile <laughs> on my face. And he was goofy as hell. He would always be just goofy Jordan, you know. Um, yeah, I can't, I can't think of a certain situation. There's been plenty of them. There's probably too many. I, I don't know. Just a positive guy. No matter what, obviously he, he was dealing with a bunch of shit. Um, but he always looked at the the brighter side of things. You know, the, the optimism <clears throat> and the, just the positivity. He was always he always could put a smile on him, on my face. I could put a smile on his face. And anyone around him, he could put a smile on their face. You know. Nice. That is awesome for sure. Yeah. That's what yeah. matters, man. The happy memories, dude. Mm-hmm. Just the totally little fucking man. new nuances. You don't even need to have stories. Just the fact that, like, the presence of somebody brings joy to your life. Dude, totally. and, and even my girlfriend, like, she she knew of Jordan, of course, you know, because he was part of my bed. But me and her weren't, didn't get together until after, you know, after he was out of the band. So she knew of him, but she didn't really know him. And those three months of her getting to know him and having him at our house, I was actually in school in Oklahoma for three weeks while he was at my house. So it was just my girlfriend and him. And she could tell you the same thing. Like, they they just clicked. She loved him to death. They, he made her laugh. She made him laugh. It was just, they had a great time together. He was just a happy, funny, goofy motherfucker. That is cool. Hell yeah. yeah. Uh, I, I do want to ask a, a, a question about tomorrow's performance with Johnny. Um, yeah, that's not his key. That's not his register. So, so how how are you guys adjusting to to well, getting him? To be honest, to be honest with you, there really only only one song is out of his register, which I sing high to, and it's it's out of my fucking register. Uh, the reason, <laughs> you know, that's that's the high one. Um, he but sings everything else you know just the yeah, same. He sings yeah. everything else pretty much exactly in the same octave and the same key. I mean, Johnny's fucking killing it, as we all know. He's an amazing singer. Like Joey said, he is the one to fill the shoes, if, if anyone, at, at least for the, the tribute show. You know, um, yeah. He did fill in for us once in the past when Jordan was in the band. Um, he's been a part of our, we've toured with him countless times when he was in VGD and you know we've known Johnny since since we've known Jordan and uh, like Joey said he, he's the he is the guy to do it he's very honored and happy to do it he's like as pumped as we are um, yeah really it's he's singing everything pretty much to the to the octave the key that it's in that song reason for broken wings even Jordan had a hard time singing that song I mean it's that's a high one, as we all know. Yeah. So I think our, our plan for that song was kind of to let our let the crowd sing it with us. You know, mm. Johnny might not sing every word, which is fine. Jordan didn't sing every word either. We're gonna we're gonna that song is kind of like a a crowd song. You know, it's a we're yeah. gonna make it work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. As, as a singer, I, I I oh sorry, didn't mean to cut you off. Oh no, no problem. I was just saying, yeah, Johnny is absolutely amazing we couldn't ask for anyone else better to to fill the shoes um not only because of his his, how good he is but because of the relationship we had you know yeah and to be fair i don't think any singer um at least in our era right now has the fucking range that jordan had and I think any singer you put in front of that microphone is going to have it have trouble trying to hit them notes. Sure. Anyone. Sure. Anyone. And you know what? You know what? 
kicked in, and this is, I told Johnny this at last practice, it's like, dude, this is a, it's a tribute show, and obviously a memorial show for Jordan, it's, this is his, this is for him, he would want us to make it work, work however we can, you know what I mean, so I told Johnny, like, dude, don't focus on, if, you, if, if you're uncomfortable singing that high of octave, drop it an octave, it doesn't matter, like, whatever, it still means the same, Jordan would agree that it's still going to sound good, it's still coming from our hearts, you know, yes. right, yeah. that's really, that's for we sure. gotta see video footage, make sure, some, just, at some point, just be like, can you guys just do me a favor, and at some point, just be like, will everyone do me a favor, and pull out your phone, and film this next one, or just something like that, totally. so we oh, can dude, see yeah. something, I, I can almost, I'm sure it's going to be like that, you, every song will be filmed, I, I can promise you, every song will be I'm sure the whole set's gonna be filmed. Uh, did Did you guys get yeah, to you'll, pick you'll the it. Did you guys get to pick the lineup, the opening acts? Like I know you got our buddies in a moment's notice and a couple other friends on there. Is that Is that Was that your guys' oh, decision or was that like promoter stuff? Yeah, no, that was our decision. Those are all um, friends. It's all Jordan's friends' bands Jordan, and stuff. Yeah. Jordan's. Oh and wow. Yeah. Jordan, and I mean, they're all people we grew up with. Um, friends. Came to all of our shows, you know, diehard fucking homies from from our hometown, and uh, it's yeah, it's a special, it's a spe special. It's, it's, not, yeah. it's not any random bands. It's not, and sure, we're not definitely not all the same style at all. But that, that's why it's not about that. It's about the relationship that yeah. all these bands and you know, we've had with them and have with Jordan. So, of course, the show yeah, they're is. All, they're all, Fuck yeah. The show is officially sold out, but if you'd like to support, please go to kylepavonefoundation.org. There is a donation that is uh, on the site that is possible to do. Gentlemen, we love you. You guys know that. Continue That's driving cool. safe. Thanks, Make man. sure we see Absolutely. some footage and uh, just oh, yeah. just keep keep doing the damn thing as you always do. And uh, let's, just, let's just stay close and we support anything you do after this, of course. Okay. Appreciate it. Thanks, Thanks, man. It's just the best for tomorrow, and uh, hope you guys can all at least watch it. Um, like you said, it sold out, dude. It sold out in less than 48 hours, which is amazing. Jesus um, Christ. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. It, it kind of. I had a hard time getting tickets. I can't even get my parents <laughs> in. You know, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. It's you know, it's uh, yeah. It's gonna be a special show. So yeah, it's all going to a good cause it. for Jordan. It's gonna be sick. Yeah. So yeah. It's gonna be a very Dude, the, the only thing uh, that I have to say, I guess to top this off, is, you know, as being a musician, I, I feel like a lot of the times we go through these situations and it just is, it is what it is. And, and then we look back and we're like, damn, I wish I would have fucking soaked that in. And, and uh, yeah. I think that this is one of those instances where, like, fucking soak it in. Yeah, for real. I agree. Oh, take I take one. Take a moment tomorrow. Yeah. Sometime during the show, just absolutely. look at each other and take a moment. No, absolutely. For sure. This is gonna be like like one of the shows we played with Jordan last year. You know, even though we're playing the same songs, it's not gonna be just you know song after song after song. It's just doing like, a set. Yeah. Is, we're gonna just feel the energy on stage and just go with it and, and it just just feel it and just love it and appreciate every moment of it. You know, like you said. Yeah. That's awesome. Well, we love you guys, man. Kill it tomorrow. Yeah, Have you, some man. fun. And uh, tell Johnny what's we said what's up. We've actually tried to get Johnny in the show a couple times. Two days, two or three. This is, he's, you know, I'm going to throw him under the bus just for one second. Him, I'm going to throw him under the yeah. bus just for one second. But he canceled like he canceled like three days before. So if you can help in that department, I, I'd, I'd love you even a little bit more. But for real, guys, have a blast tomorrow. Film as much as you can. And because uh, we want we want to share it and, and just continue showing the original, the OGs, Skylar Drive love forever, for real. Thank you, brother. Yes. Uh, namaste. Yes. You guys drive safe, all right? Thanks, man. Later, guys. Cheers. Yeah. KylePavoneFoundation.org. If you guys get a second, please go there. Click that. It's pinned on the top of our chat right now. And, um, you know, there's always, everyone knows someone that, just needs a hey how you doing right now and uh yeah. 
that particular foundation specializes in helping those people. So if you get a second, take a look and uh, support. And uh, if you live in Northern California, I'm jealous because I live in Southern and I can't attend that show. Otherwise, I can't.